Hey there, foods. Mr. T here, back with another little video. And uh, this one's kind of a show and tell, <laughs> if you will. Um, so yeah, check this out. Um, almost forgot I had these things. Uh, I was going through some of my comics and stuff and uh, came across these bad boys. Um, uh, these are like, a, these are basically comic book compilations um as you can see uh, right here this is super mario brothers the best of super mario brothers uh made by valiant and uh they did a lot of comics um i don't know about today i don't know if they still do them because i haven't really been to been into the comic scene but uh valiant used to do a lot of stuff so uh as you can see really nice it's a hard cover um so basically back in the late 80s early 90s nintendo put out uh uh, comic books well they basically uh licensed out the uh, the characters and stuff to uh valiant and whatnot and they put out these series of comic books based on their franchises uh super mario brothers here this is the best of this is um based on basically uh the drawings from the uh the tv series super mario brothers super show and um a lot of the the drawings here are very similar to the animation from that show uh, so, uh, the, the, you know, the way Koopa's drawn and all that stuff, the way Mario and Luigi are very similar, most likely the same. I didn't really look into it, but it's probably the same, uh, artists who did the TV show also did the comics cause they're very close. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys, uh, uh, my comics here, they're very clean. Uh, as you can see, these things are, what are they now? And, uh, uh 26 years old 27 years old somewhere around there um they came out in 90 but i didn't get these until like maybe 94 95 around the same time i got um uh, actually maybe 96 around the same time i got the uh what i like to call the nintendo bible uh i've talked about it before it's called uh game over press start to play it's basically like nintendo's history in uh in a in a book up until the n64's launch or right before it i can't remember um but it's a really good read um maybe i'll show you the book here um i should have pulled it out just to show you with this stuff so maybe i'll show you in a you might be looking at it right now in the video uh what the book looks like uh it's a really good read if you're a nintendo fan <laughs> uh it's a very interesting really good read tells you about the history of nintendo going back you know 100 years to when it started as a you know playing card for kids uh kids playing card uh company in japan up until you know the multi-billion dollar video game and entertainment uh company it is today so very cool very good read i highly recommend it um i couldn't put it down once i started reading it so i think it's a really good read um yeah so like i said this is the best of uh the super mario brothers comics and uh, also um they also put out a um a series of comics based on a lot of stuff so um some of their other characters like uh, little mac and uh even uh captain in the game master and uh, zelda of course um and the zelda stuff was also based on the the super Nin or super mario brothers super show uh, on Fridays, they would have an episode of Zelda, Legend of Zelda. You know, excuse me, princess. And so the drawings, uh, the comic, uh, and those comics were also based on that TV show, which was pretty cool. So um, it was, it's nice to, you know, continue stories. And some, I think some of the stories are same, the same from the show. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think so. Um, and this is like the best of. So you got little series like uh, Legend of Zelda, Captain N, Game Master, uh, Game Boy series, Punch Out series, uh, and Metroid 2. And it's so weird to see like Samus uh, in these old drawings because she's pretty different now as far as her various suit and stuff. So uh, it's really cool to see her 
that way. And uh, when I was reading this, I was thinking, um, you know, because we played the game Metroid back in the day, beat it, and found out that uh, it was a girl the whole time inside of a robot suit. I just thought I was a robot, and it was so cool to see the comics also acknowledge, acknowledge that. Because uh, Samus, in one of the in one of the stories, she's walking around, and people just think she's a cyborg. You know, they just think she's a robot. And uh, so, uh, towards the end of that uh, story, uh, she pulls off her helmet and re- reveals her golden <laughs> her golden hair, and uh, uh, that really gets the guy happy. I can't remember who it was she was talking to, but uh, but yeah. So some of the stuff from um, the uh, Captain N. Some of the characters aren't in here because the licensing on sure like uh, Mega Man and stuff. So, uh, but you know, the Nintendo characters are here and, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, this book, these books here are 27 years old or so. It's probably older than some of you dudes listening to this, <laughs> even by a lot. Um, and, uh, they're in really great condition. Um, I keep them in pristine shape. I keep them put away for the most part and uh till i feel like pulling them out and reading them but uh yeah so uh yeah you can see really nice clean pages still um i was able to so some odd years ago i uh i uh, used to keep my stuff in my trunk of my car and uh it, it got flooded i guess some water got into the trunk and it ruined a lot of my nintendo power mags and all that stuff and luckily luckily these things survived so um that was a uh, good luck on my part and uh so yeah this is what the video is basically about i call it the uh, new nintendo power um you guys might remember uh and you might even know who these guys are but uh right around the time the uh the uh, nintendo power was you know letting everybody know they were closing their doors i think it was december 2012 um there was this upstart you know wanted to carry on the mantra basically of the nintendo power and give us cool magazines with Nintendo, you know, with only Nintendo based games and stuff in it and news. So, and it was called Nintendo Force. And for some reason, I just completely forgot about it. Like, I, I was really excited about it in the beginning. I just, I don't know, just wasn't paying attention and just forgot. And uh, they did a Patreon and uh, everything re- went really well. And uh, they were able to start their own magazine. And uh, these are damn good magazines. Like, Um, you basically sign up for a subscription through the Patreon page. Um, and you know, it's basically like you pledge. And I think I got this magazine here, uh, within a month. It came pretty quickly. I was surprised by that because I don't think, um, when I renewed my Nintendo powers, they didn't come that quick. But, uh, um, yeah, Nintendo Force, very good magazine. It's just, it's right it's just a continuation of Nintendo Power, really. The pages look great. Um, you know, something you worry about when you're dealing with a second party type of thing, situation, you think, oh, the, the quality isn't gonna be as good. But these, as you can see, look at, uh, they did an expose here on Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild. And uh, these pages look great. The pictures really pop, um, really detailed uh, information. Um, you even got fan letters, just like back in the day. You actually had to write a letter and mail it. Um, obviously, these are probably uh, emails, um, but it's so cool that they set it up the same way. You got uh, director's corners and, um, you know, obviously reviews at the end. It's really, really good magazine. If, you know, Nintendo fans out there who are sad about the power, Nintendo power passing and ending and wanting a Nintendo centric magazine that looks really good, really good, high quality. I implore you to um, get a subscription with Nintendo Power. Um, I'll put the link to their Patreon uh, in the description, so you can go check these guys out. I'm not, you know, <laughs> they, I'm not endorsing them or anything. They haven't, uh, I haven't signed any kind of deal with them or anything. I just think uh, this is a cool thing for Nintendo fans uh, to hop on, support these guys because they're doing really, really good work, um, and it's really cool to have a physical magazine to still today. Uh, you know, in this place, especially Nintendo Centric, and uh, you know, they cover everything from you know, eShop games to retail releases. Obviously, the retail releases are going to be scarce, but uh, Nintendo's doing some really cool deals, um, 
uh, they're uh, basically re-releasing some games with uh, amiibos and stuff and they marked them down they have a lot of new nintendo select games so i'm sure uh, N uh, nintendo force will be covering that stuff too and uh yeah if you just look at these pages it looks great like i said and uh i'm looking forward to uh more magazines coming in the mail and like i said it came pretty quick so uh I implore you guys to check it out this is the new nintendo power to me it's official really good work here and uh yeah so uh you know you can if you're wondering about the uh the nintendo uh comic book the compilations or whatever uh you can i don't know guys you can look on ebay or something they probably these things are pretty rare as far as i know so i'm sure it's gonna be a pretty penny today i haven't looked but uh it probably is uh, especially for these compilation uh ones with the binders nice hard covers because they're really nice and stuff so uh but yeah like i said the link for nintendo force is in the description below check them out um they have different tiers and stuff if you want like the digital along with the uh physical so uh, check it out really cool and yeah that's it for this video fools and i'll see you next time peace thank you all for watching the t-shirt